two days, guys. Two days. It's pretty much two days now before we leave for the Philippines. Oh my god. We are back in Auckland, staying with a friend, and it's lovely. You remember this space? Last time we were in this space, we spoke about something extremely serious. So this will be my last sit-down video on New Zealand, and I wanted it to be about travelling by bus, because that was a... Uh, Something I got a lot of questions about and we did it all over and I just kind of want to run through the pros, the cons and what service we used and how it works. Right, so we used Naked Bus and they're a great site and they are like a sister company with uh, Mana Bus. Um, so you got those, you've also got like Kiwi Experience and Intercity, but we went with Naked Bus. Basically they offer a pass for a certain amount of trips. It's called a Naked Bus Passport. They've recently changed up their packages so I'll run through those with you as well. So you used to be able to get a lot more variety but I think it's a lot better what they've done now you can get three five ten or twenty trip pass and the great thing that they've added now is that for any one of these passes you can pay a little bit more and add on a ferry ride as well so you can get between the north and the south island which is really cool so when you purchase one of these passes obviously if you're going to do all of new zealand by bus then the 20 pass would be great for you if you just want to do a few stops and maybe the three or the five but as soon as you purchase it you've got to make your first trip within 12 months and then the validity of the ticket will last 12 months from the first booking if that makes sense so technically it has a validity of two years because you can buy it now and not use it till just before this time next year book your first trip on it and then it lasts 12 months from the first trip you book what you do to use this pass is you jump onto their website and log into the naked passport center it'll tell you then at the top how many trips you have left and it's so quick and easy you just select from and to and just add it to your passport. Take down the first four numbers of your confirmation because that's all the bus driver will need when you're boarding. Have that to hand so when you put your bags on, you're not delaying anyone. And that's it. You have your own little account. You can see how many trips you've got left and what you've done. It's so super simple. And I kind of like that once you pay that amount, you're not worrying through the rest of your trip, like, oh, we still need to pay for that bus, or we still need to get this bus, and do I have enough money? Because it's already paid for and you're done. The things you really should note for, though, is if you're doing a long distance, they have their route online, so you can go and check to see where they do. If you're going, for example, from Greymouth to Picton, then, mis <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm correct, you have to get a bus to Nelson and then get onto a bus to Picton. Now this isn't a connecting service. You'll be able to see when you look at their map online, um, as soon as you hover over a place, it'll show you like the line, the connections. Um, and if it's past that, you do have to use two of your trips. So you'll have to book your bus to Nelson and then you'll have to book a bus from Nelson to Picton, for example. This doesn't happen that often. It just depends if you're going like a long way around somewhere and you have to use two of your trips. But check out online, it only happens to us once. That's a naked bus passport. Now I'm gonna go on and talk about the pros and cons of traveling by bus. Now we've had the opportunity to hire some cars and travel by bus and obviously, if you have the money, getting a car to travel New Zealand is the ultimate way to do it. There's no doubt, no one will ever question that. It's just a lot of people go for bus if they just don't have the money, especially if you're solo traveling and maybe you just don't have that expendable money to either buy a car or hire a car or a camper van for a long period of time. Some of the pros of traveling by bus, it is cheaper. Definitely 100% cheaper, like Naked Bus and even Intercity offer $1 deals if you book really early. And even if you're booking last minute, you know, I've never seen a bus ride f over $60. Normally they're around $20 or $30, depending on how far you're going. If you're traveling by bus, you don't have to worry about fuel or if it breaks down on any repairs like you would if you had your own car. You get to sit back and relax. You're not having to drive anywhere, so you can just chill out, get your laptop out, get a book out, or just watch the scenery. Also, Naked Bus and Mana Bus do have Wi-Fi on board. When you get to the South Island, that can be a little bit, mm, in some of the more quieter areas, but in the North Island, 100% Wi-Fi. I appreciate. Also we found the bus drivers are full of really good information. All our bus drivers were absolutely wonderful. Some more chatty than others obviously and you don't want to distract the driver too much. But they were giving us loads of hints and tips when we arrived up in Nelson. Our bus driver told us about this amazing pizza place to go to. So that was, it's just the little things like that. You get chatting and obviously they know New Zealand so so well. However going just by bus brings a lot of cons as well you are less flexible. You have to stick to their times. If there's one bus a day and it leaves at 8 a.m., you're leaving at 8 a.m., all right? Compared to if you had a car, you can leave whenever you want. 
Also, coming out to flexibility, you can't just stop wherever you like. Now, the best thing about having a car in New Zealand is you're going to find loads of little lookouts, stopping points, maybe go off the beaten track a little bit on your way to somewhere. That's what New Zealand's all about, and you can't do that. You are going from A to B. If you're going by bus, you do have less room, so it's nice going by car, especially if you're the passenger or whatever. You've got all this space, you can stretch out, you can put your seat pretty far back. However, on a bus, at least you can stand up and walk around. And another con of going by bus over getting a car is once you get to a destination, you still have to get to your accommodation. So when they drop you off in the middle of the city, they normally drop you off at an eyesight, the information center, and then you might have to walk 15 minutes with your packs to your accommodation. If you had a car, obviously you're getting straight there. Those are little minor details, and I'm sure there are a lot more pros and cons. If you don't have the money to get a car, then going by bus is amazing, and I would 100% recommend the Naked Bus Passport because it was just a little gem. Knowing we just had it there, you could jump online a couple of days before your trip and book where you're going next. I would recommend, however, if you are coming in the peak of summer, especially down the South Island, book your bus as soon as possible. As soon as you know you're going, say, from Queenstown, up to Fox Glacier, book it because we did get left short once because the bus was full and we tried to book two days before. So be prepared for that, but if you do have the money, I would 100% recommend getting a car. What we did is you can have the best of both worlds. We traveled majority by bus and then in certain places, especially in the South Island, we hired a car, as you know from watching our vlogs. When we got to Queenstown, we hired one for a week. We could go up to Mount Cook, to Lake Tekapo, over to Milford Sound and just take our time. South Island is definitely one of those places that getting a car is incredible because there's just so much to explore on your own. All right, that's all there is today and that was my last sit down video on New Zealand, I think. I will do a monthly favourites, but I'm not classing that as a shout out. What would you add to that, the pros and cons? What were your experiences going by bus or by car? Let me know down below and everyone can get chatting down there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all at Psycho Trail. The links are down there and subscribe because we're going to the Philippines in two days and you do not want to miss that. We'll be in the Philippines for a month and I'll be vlogging the hell out of that country. Just trust me, it's gonna be crazy. And I will see you either tomorrow or the next day. I say this at the end of every vlog. Tomorrow or the next day. Hold on, when are you seeing this? I think by the time you see this, we'll be on a plane. I'll see you in like, oh my god! We're going shopping today. I'm going to vlog today and we're going to buy some like shampoo and I'm going to buy lotion and stuff. Ah! Bye!